Quantum numbers arise naturally in quantum mechanics. The exact solution for hydrogen atoms gives three quantum numbers. N, the principal quantum number, L, the orbital angular momentum quantum number, and M, the orbital magnetic quantum number. Although the one electron atoms are the only ones with exact solutions, we use the quantum numbers of hydrogen as a basis for approximations for all the other atoms. In fact, for the one electron atoms, the Bohr model and the Rydberg formula are correct, at least mathematically. We can describe the various series and bands of a hydrogen emission spectrum exactly. Please remember the conventions for naming the various orbitals, the energy shells and the subshells. Note that for hydrogen atom, the subshells SPDF orbitals are degenerate. Compare hydrogen with one electron and lithium with three electrons. Note the energy levels are different for hydrogen and lithium. There appears to be extra energy levels for lithium. Some of the levels for hydrogen atoms and lithium atoms are the same. But where do these other levels come from for lithium? If we decompose the lithium energy levels as shown, then the origin of various emission spectral lines becomes clearer. Historically, such transitions were named after their appearance, being sharp or diffuse. Others were called principal or fundamental. This is the origin of the orbital designation S, P, D, and F. The sharp emission series are all transitions that originate in the L equals 0 states and all terminate on the N equals 2, L equals 1 state. The principal emission band of lithium results from transitions from all L equals 1 states down to its ground state of N equals 1, L equals 0. The diffuse emission series all start in states with L equals 2 and all terminate in the state where N equals 2, L equals 1. The fundamental emission series are transitions that originate in any L equals 3 state and all terminate on the n equals 3, l equals 2 state. Decompose the lithium and hydrogen energy levels. Even though the exact solutions only apply rigorously to hydrogen and the one electron atoms, we use hydrogen-like orbitals to describe all the other atoms. Actually, to be more precise, we treat the atoms as having a nuclear charge Z and a tightly set of bound core electrons. The valence electrons act like SPDF electrons in hydrogen.